Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another morning here at Grace Point. I'm so glad that you are joining us, and I hope that you are as excited as we are for our second week of Advent. Now, if you, this is your first time that you are watching us here online. Very, very big welcome from us. We love new people, and we hope that you're going to stay with us and watch us every Sunday and on a Wednesday when we do Investigating God's Word. Right, so I want to get straight into our um, welcoming today. And the first thing we always do for those of you who are new and on uh, today is we say happy birthday to all our children. Firstly, to everybody out there who had a birthday, but specifically for those children who are registered here at Grace Point, we just want to wish them a very, very, very happy birthday. So let's go look at our slide and see who had a birthday this week. Well, from all of us at Grace Point, boys and girls, I hope you had a fantastic, wonderful birthday and that you were spoiled rotten. Now, before we go on to our worship slot today, I want us to actually now do our, you all know what, that's right, our offering. Now, I don't have my little money box here with me today. Our little bunny hopped away before I could <laughs> catch it to come and do um, welcoming with me. But you all know about my little money box and every week I pop some money in there. And when we are face to face, we are going to take all our money boxes and we're going to put all the money into Grace Point's account. Now, why is it important, boys and girls, to give to the church? Why do your parents um, put or guardians put money into our bank account? Well, we know that we have to keep the lights going and electricity and all those things at Grace Point so that we can bring you an online lesson. Also, we remember all those people who might be in need of food or clothes or even a place to live. And with your money that your parents so generously give to us, we are able to help so many people in need. So from our side here at Grace Point, we just want to thank you all for your generosity. Okay, so have you popped in your offering and into, your bar, into your little buckets? Good. Okay, put your hands together and let's pray. Father God, I just thank you so very much for the privilege to be in your house today, be it online or face to face in our classrooms. Father, I pray that you will bless every family that is watching us right now. And Father, for those families who have been supporting us with prayers, finances, or dropping off groceries and clothes, I just pray, Father God, that you will give them an extra blessing today. Father, we thank you for, for you and we thank you for your love and that you accept us just like we are. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, boys and girls, now before I get involved with our lesson today, let's go to Kezi, who I know has two amazing Christmas carols. I think the one is about joy. I'm not sure. You find out and I'll speak to you after worship. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Worship with Kezi. My name is Kezia, but you can call me Kez or Kezi, whatever you're comfortable with. And what is your name? Well, it's very nice to meet you. And if you are here for the very first time, hi! I'm so excited you guys had to join us this week. And if you are here for the past few weeks, hello! I'm so excited you guys are back and I hope you learn something new as well. So, I have a question for you guys. Last week, we started off with something brand new. But, it's a certain type of song. So, what were we doing everybody? That's right, we have been doing Christmas songs. So, this week, I have two new songs for you. And the first song is Joy to the World. And everybody knows this song, but we're going to put a spin on it. We're going to do our own actions. <laughs> so we're going to go. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. 
and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing joy to the world the savior reigns and then you're gonna go you're gonna go the savior reigns then you go one two three and you're gonna put one arm out then the other arm out then you bring this arm back in and then this arm back in and then you go repeat the sound of joy repeat the sound of joy repeat repeat the sound of joy then you can say no more sin no more sorrow no more thorns on the ground because Jesus makes his blessings flow <laughs> and then from there we're gonna go he rules the world with truth and grace and you go one two three and then you go one two three and you go one two three one two three one two three and those are all the actions so are you ready i'm sorry i can't hear you i asked are you ready perfect let's go everybody because I know I had so much fun with it so the second song is called Deck the Halt so this one's a bit a little confusing and a little bit complicated so if you get confused all you need to do is ba la 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 that's all you need to know so we're gonna go Deck the Halt with Old of Harley ba la 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 la, tis the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la, la 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 la. Dawn is I forgot the words again. Ba la 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 la. <laughs> okay, so you can go. One, two, three. Ba la 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 la. You need to go. One, two, three, four. Ba la 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 la. Then you dance, 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 and you go. See, we're looking out. Ba la 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 la. And then we're gonna jump side to side. So we're gonna go. Ba la 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 la, 
la 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 <laughs> and then you're gonna go oh what's up that hmm oh hello <laughs> now la 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 then you're gonna go ta na ah ah eh Bye, la 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 and then we dance 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 again <laughs> so if you ever get confused the way i get confused sometimes all you need to do is ba la 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 <laughs> and then from there we're gonna go one two three four ba la 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 one Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ba la 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 la. One, two, three, four. Ba la 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 la. Are you ready? Because <laughs> those are all the words. So, if you get confused, because it is a bit complicated and a bit long. Just go pa la 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 la. <laughs> okay, so let's go. everybody because i know i have so much fun with you guys so this is usually the time where i say goodbye to you for the week and that is exactly what i'll be doing but first let me tell you all about your lesson so this week's lesson is all about the prophecy candle that brings hope it is also our very first candle in our advent wreath it is the color you know what color it is the color is purple. So this is the very first purple candle in our adventure. So I hope you guys enjoy your weeks and enjoy your day. Bye. Welcome back boys and girls. I hope you had so much fun with Casey doing all those moves with our carols. I just love Christmas carols and this is my favorite time of the year. And you know what? I don't even have my Christmas hat on today or my Christmas ears because my lesson today is a little bit serious. So I thought, mm, I don't think I can wear my Christmas hat this week. But from next week, boys and girls, I hope you will put your Christmas hats on. 
or whatever you have on your head or around you, just to be Christmassy and, and full of, of joy. But our lesson today is all about, our, um, is a bit more serious. So we're going to start off with that lesson. And I hope you will understand when I'm done why I don't have my Christmas hat on today. Okay, so I wonder if you know where I'm standing. Hmm. I'm standing, boys and girls, in the sanctuary here at Grace Point. And for you guys who are new, this is our main church where our adults get together. And sometimes we even have family services or when we have um, a, a communion like we did this Sunday, we all gather in this space, which is called the sanctuary. Now, the reason why I'm here is because this week's Advent calendar or Advent wreath candle that we are going to be lighting at the end is all about the best it's all about prophecy now last week we i explained to you guys about the reef and the importance of the reef why it's a circle because jesus loves us unconditionally we learned about that it's green because we're going to have everlasting life with jesus when he comes back and he fetches us and then we mentioned all four the candles the three purple ones the one pink one and the one white one and what i said to you last week was that every week Week now until Christmas we are going to discuss one of these candles and I'm going to explain to you what they are all for so the very first candle we're going to talk about today is one of our purple candles and we're going to light it and it's going to stay lit for the next four weeks and that is called our prophecy candle or our candle of hope now what do I mean by that boys and girls now firstly I'm sure you going what is a prophecy and why does she have to be in the adult church today to do her to do our lesson well let's just stop for a minute and let's just think about the words first so the first word is prophecy now boys and girls a prophecy means it is something that I speak now but might only happen later on maybe tomorrow maybe in two years time maybe even in a hundred years time so it's words that are spoken but has not happened yet we are still waiting with anticipation for that whatever i said to happen for example if i say mm, i am going to live on mars one day now that could be seen as a prophecy i might never be able to live on mars or my words might be that in 20 years, 30 years time, we are able to go live on Mars. And that is a prophecy that I'm speaking out that I'm going to go live on Mars. Has it happened? No. But will it happen? Well, that's what we're waiting for to see. In 10 years, 300 years, 600 years, 800 years of from now, we might be living on Mars. So that is what a prophecy is. And then... The other thing we spoke about is the synagogue. Now the synagogue was the temple in the olden days where people went to hear the word of God. Now, boys and girls, the temples in those days when Jesus, 400 years before Jesus was born, was nothing like our temples today. They might have just met in somebody's home or it might have been a very special place maybe that looked a little bit different to other people's houses. But it was a room where people would meet and then read the scrolls. Now you're going, what scrolls? Liana, stop. There's so many things happening here. Yes, you're right. So a scroll, boys and girls, was what the first Bibles looked like. It was definitely not like the Bible that you know from home. A scroll was really papyrus, which is from made from paper that is made from a wreath. And they would write with their hands words that God would give people to, to write on there. So it was words from God that people wrote on papyruses. And they would roll it up in the shape of a scroll. And then on a Sunday, the priest or um, would come in or if there was a prophet around now remember we spoke about a prophecy now a prophet boys and girls is someone who actually speaks the word so when i speak the word that we are going to be living on mars one day i become the prophet so i'm the prophet who speaks the prophecy so 
So sometimes on a Sabbath, which is on a Friday in the olden days, because they were Jewish people, you would either have the actual priest come and take the scrolls, which was the word of God on pieces of paper, on papyrus paper, or, or it was actually one of the prophets who would come and would speak to the people in the temple or the synagogue, the, in our case, into the sanctuary. So there was so what happened was there were three people that actually spoke some prophecies about Jesus. Because who are we waiting for? Who are we preparing our hearts for through Advent? That's right, we're preparing our hearts, waiting not just only for Jesus' birth to happen on the 25th of December, but also remember what we said last week, that Jesus died on a cross and then he rose from the dead. And when he came, went up into heaven, remember that? He said, I will come back and fetch you. So not only are we waiting in anticipation for Jesus' birth, so that we can get presents, very weird, but also... We are waiting for Jesus to come back. Now, the reason why we have the prophecy candle or we light the hope candle is this is the week where we remember the prophecies that were spoken 400 to 800 years ago, boys and girls, by some prophets saying, hey guys, Jesus is going to be born. And today we remember those prophecies that gave hope to the people before Jesus was born. And I want to quickly take my scroll. Here it is. And I want to be like them. Look, I'm in church. I'm now the priest or the prophet. And I can read the prophecies. Now, I said to Kyle, who is filming, that this is just a piece of paper. I think I want to read these prophecies out of this very, very, oh, I'm going to hold it up old Bible to you. Can you see? It is so old and it's so beautiful, guys. So I thought this is the ideal time to actually read out of this. But please remember, boys and girls, that the prophecies in those days, 400, 800 years before Jesus was born, was on a scroll. Okay, so let's read our first prophecy that was spoken by Isaiah. So this is a name you need to remember. Isaiah was the first prophet. And in Isaiah 7, verse 14, we read the following. It says, Therefore, Now remember, Isaiah lived four to eight hundred years before Jesus was born. So he is speaking words that has not happened yet. That was only going to happen 400 or 800 years later. And he says, Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Boys and girls, do you know what this means? That Isaiah, 400 years before Jesus was born, said that Jesus would be born from Mary, who was a virgin, and she was going to call him Emmanuel. How amazing is that? That is awesome. God is just amazing how he gives us hope. So remember, boys and girls, these people were going, the Jewish people were, they were, there was wars against them. And then they were in exile and they were slaves and they had no hope. But through Isaiah, Isaiah said, guys, hey, have hope because God will make a way for us. There's hope. He's going to send us a Savior. He's going to send us Emmanuel. And that is what Isaiah tells us. And then another guy, another prophet that also speaks about the birth of Jesus. And this time, he actually speaks about where Jesus was going to be born. And in Micah 7, uh, sorry, Micah 5, verse 2, we read this. It says, But thou, Bethlehem, Now, Bethlehem is the place where Jesus was born, boys and girls. And we're going to learn about that next week when we light the candle of love and faith. We're going to see how Mary and Joseph have go on this journey with Jesus and the donkey and all of that to actually give birth to Jesus in Bethlehem. So Micah says in Micah 5, Thou Bethlehem, thou be belittle among the thousands of Judah, yet 
out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be the ruler in Israel, whose going forth hath been from old, from everlasting. So what he is saying here, what Mike is saying here, boys and girls, is that Jesus, the Savior, this Emmanuel child that Isaiah has spoken about, is going to be born in Bethlehem. And that is another prophecy giving us hope or giving the, the, the Jewish people hope that Jesus, the Savior, will be born. And so, boys and girls, we know that Jesus was born. We don't, that prophecies are now fulfilled. And so now every year we light this candle because we remember that they said that this is going to happen. And so to remember those prophets, we light the hope candle or the prophecy candle. And so before I end my story, there's one more prophecy that is not yet fulfilled. And that prophecy, boys and girls, is about the new world that is coming. And that is what our series is called, that a new world is coming. And I know you all were a bit like, what does she mean by that? You know, is the world going to look different? Well, guys, it is looking different with COVID. We are all walking around with masks. We have to sanitize. We have to sit in a block. We're not allowed to do this. We're not allowed to do that. And it's just a big mess right now. So I guess we are already living in a new world. But the new world that we are talking about right now is a prophecy that was given to one of uh, Jesus' disciples after Jesus had gone up into heaven and is now sitting at the right hand side of God waiting for the right moment to come and fetch us and to give us now hope like Isaiah and Micah gave all of us hope that Jesus was going to be born John one of God's Jesus' disciples has given us hope through the book of Revelations. And in that book, boys and girls, there's an amazing story about this new heaven and this new earth and that Jesus will come and we are going to be part of that new world. And I want to read it to you and we find that in Revelation 21. And it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. And I, John, that is now the disciple of Jesus, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, come down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And then, boys and girls, we read further where it states that this is where we are going to live. And we are, there's going to be no more tears and anger and, and hurt and pain. And together, all of us who believe in Jesus, who has accepted Jesus as our Lord and as our Savior, all of us who belong to Him, when He comes and fetches us, we are going to live in heaven, in this new earth, in this new heaven with Him. And so, guys, so this prophet candle shows us prophecies that has already been fulfilled, but it also gives us the hope of another prophecy that we are waiting is to be fulfilled. And that is the prophecy of Jesus coming back and taking us to a new heaven and a new earth. Isn't that amazing, boys and girls, that this is happening and we can read all of that in the Bible. This is the place, boys and girls, where we read everything that we need to know. Oh, this is so heavy, boys and girls. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Everything that we need to know about Jesus is in the Bible. And can you believe it? It even has prophecies that is still to come. And that is the prophecy that I want you guys to hold on to for your whole life until Jesus comes back and fetches us. Guys, I hope that today's lesson and the prophecy that I read to you in this Bible will give you so much peace, so much hope, so much faith, and so much love knowing that we are not alone, that Jesus is there for us. God looks out for us and He always, always fulfills His promises. He always makes good on His promises. So if He could make good on the promises of Isaiah and Micah, 
don't you think, boys and girls, he's going to make good of the prophecy of John in Revelation. Good. So that is our story for today. I hope you loved it. I love the story. So can you see this was quite an intense lesson today. So I couldn't have my Christmas hat on. But next week, we are going to light our next candle. And that's the candle of Bethlehem, which is our love candle. And we're going to have, start having joy and excitement because Jesus is going to come soon, soon for his birth. And we're going to celebrate it together with him. Okay, so you guys, I'm now going to go to the Doodle Studio. And you guys are going to make your own scrolls and your own profit. I can't wait to have fun with you there. So let's zoom to the Doodle Studio and I will see you back here next week. Well, actually, Kyle, I don't think we want to do it here. Hey, no, Kyle's also saying no. We don't want the boring sanctuary. No, I think we must go and shoot this at another place next week. Kyle is saying, giving me thumbs up. We are going to shoot this in a very special place next week. I can't wait to show you the big surprise I have for you. So please, boys and girls, you have to watch next week to see where we are going to shoot our lesson from. All right, I'll see you in the Doodle Studio. Bye! Hello, Hi, everyone! Friends. How to doodle? doodle? Just Doodle it! Doodle Kids! Hello, guys, and welcome back. Yo, guys, you, I've, I don't know if you sneaked in well, the kids and I were having a lesson today, but woo, it was a hectic lesson. We had to learn all about prophets. Prophets? Yeah. Do you know that they were the messengers of God? Yeah. And God gave them messengers, messengers that was for something that's going to happen 400, 800 years later. Oh. Do you oh. know that? No. 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 Yeah. We spoke about Isaiah. And we spoke about Micah, who was the two main prophets who said, Hey, Jesus is going to be born, and he's going to be born in Bethlehem. <gasps> so the boys and girls, and I know all about those messengers of God, the prophets. Okay. And then we learned, you guys don't know this, but the boys and girls and I do, there's another prophet. Well, he was sort of a prophet, I guess, but he was John, Jesus' disciple. And he was taken up into heaven, into a place where Jesus showed him, God showed him the new heaven huh? and the new earth. And he said, when Jesus comes to fetch us, that is what we're going to be seeing. Oh. And that is an unfulfilled prophecy. It hasn't happened yet. So that's why we're preparing our heart, not just for Christmas, but also for Jesus to come and fetch us and help us to become part of that new world and new earth. How cool is that? I'm excited for Me that. Me too. I want to go right now. Yes. Okay, Carl, do you also want to go right now? Carl also says he wants to go to this new world right now. Okay, but Carl's going to have a baby soon, boys and girls. He's going to have a baby boy. Wow. And so, Carl wow. doesn't want to go right now to heaven, Carl, so don't lie. He first <laughs> wants to see his little baby boy. Yes. And we can't wait for Carl's baby boy to be born. Hey. Yes. Yeah. I think it's time to have Christmas camp. Uh, well, no, Shane, no. Carl says oh, no in January, oh, so he's going to be a late Christmas wow. baby. Uh, <laughs> Those are the messengers of God, wrote this stuff 
onto this onto the scrolls and um, and it was written there for us to give us hope 400 800 years later to say hey savior is going to be born your your king is going to come okay so that's what we're doing and so the scroll boys and girls that you're going to be making has also got the prophecy or that vision that god gave john when he was taken up into heaven. We also got him there. Because that is a prophecy that hasn't been fulfilled. Mm. But the other prophecies has, because you and I and all of us know that Jesus was born mm. and he actually died and went up into heaven. Mm. Good. Okay, so boys and girls, if you look at your in your doodle studio on the website at, at um, gracepoint.co.za, you will find the following craft. You will find a picture. Now, this is a very strange looking man, isn't it? <laughs> but he's our prophet, Isaiah. Yeah. Mm. Or Micah, we can choose who he wants to be. Then you're also going to have all the prophecies, the ones that are already fulfilled, and the new prophecy, as well as a scroll. So this is the two crafts we're going to make. So let's start off because we have to start off first with the person. Yes. Because the person has to speak. Yes. Okay, so what you're going to do is, boys and girls, when you get your picture, you are going to um, actually <coughs> cut out the, pro uh, the, the the prophet. Can you guys, did you cut out your... You guys cheated! No! no. Boys and girls, no. they cheated! No. They already cut out their prophets. No. You guys! No. You cheated! You cheated! No. Okay, alright. So then what they're gonna, you're going to do is, you now have to give them a beard because... In the Bible, when you look at the prophets' pictures, they always have long yes. beards. Oh. So, or even Jewish men love to have long beards, okay? So how are we going to give this this little prophet picture a beard? So when you look at your picture at home, boys and girls, you will see that there's dotted lines going up all the way here. And that is where you're going to cut it. So don't go any further. Look at Vicky. She is going to cut right there not further than the dotted line very good and then as she's cutting it boys and girls i'm going to show you what you're going to do to give him a beard so you carry on cutting once you've done that you can color in your picture which i think lolo is doing right lolo show them how you're halfway there because at least they didn't cheat with that boys and girls <laughs> they're now coloring in their picture they okay. can they can cut before they can color before they before they, they cut. cut. I think they should yeah. do that. Yeah. Hey, it will make it easier. Yes. Hey, yeah. And Lolo, don't you think we should give our little prophet eyes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys are I cheat I, I didn't cheat. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I sort yeah, of cheated. Yeah. I sort of cheated. But anyway, so you can give them with if you have googly eyes, you can do googly eyes. Or yeah. you can do the stickers. stickers. Hey, Lolo. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay, so give him some eyes. Remember, there's a nice little thing going on here around. He's like a band over his head. I'm not too sure what that was, but anywho. So this is our little prophet Oki. Now what you're going to do is, as you can see, these are now all cut open. Are you all cut open? Yes. Can you show I, them what it looks like? Oh, look there. It looks like a little fan. Hey? Yeah. So what you're going to do now is you're going to just twirl them a little bit. So maybe if Kyle can just zoom in here. You just twirl them, roll them up, and then unroll them. So it's a little bit delicate, don't make it too strong. Just gentle little rolls and then unroll them again. Gentle little rolls up, like that, and then unroll them with a flick. And it will give you the little look of a beard that is curling, like a curly whirly beard. So like his beard is curly. And so there we go. And we just flip it open like that. Can you see there's our little man now with his curly woolly beard. Now what we can do is, when you guys are done, if when I can show the boys and girls, is you can take one of your um, craft sticks and you can take your glue. Let me show you guys. Oh, you're going to that, take your picture and you're going to stick it onto a paper plate. Now we had these little black paper plates floating around so that just made it easy but you can use any paper plate that you have at home to do to stick your little man on, your profit on and then I'm going to put some glue onto my popsicle stick here, my craft stick and then I'm going to just pop it onto this thing here onto the back of my paper plate and sometimes you just have to hold it a little bit so that the glue just merges with the paper. There we go. 
and there I have my profit. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to keep our profit safe because he needs to read the, the prophecy later, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so you guys carry on with that because I know you cheated with the next craft as well. So I'll speak to the kids about the next craft. Okay, so guys, you have now got this picture, right? We're gonna now do our scrolls with our messengers on from the prophets that God gave them. Now you will see this one's got a little border. So you're going to cut off the border and so that it picture looks like this. This is the difference. This one has a border, this one doesn't. Okay. Then you would have on a different page the three prophecies. Now the first one is Isaiah 7 verse 14 where it says, Put the Lord himself, but the Lord himself will give you a son. The virgin will be pregnant, that is Mary, and she will have a son, that is Jesus, and she will name him Emmanuel. Okay, so that is the first prophecy of Isaiah. And then you have Micah 5 verse 2 which says, But you, Bethlehem, are one of the smallest towns in Judah, but from you will come one, and who's that? Jesus, who will rule Israel for me. That is Jesus saying he's got, got, uh, Jesus is going to rule Israel for him. That's what God said. He comes from very old times, because remember Jesus was born long before he, he was with God, long before he was even born. It's very, very, very strange. From days long ago. Okay, and then the last one is the vision or the prophecy that Josh, uh, that John got um, when he was in the, on the island of Pathos and he was taken up into heaven and it says the new Jerusalem. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared. That's our earth, right? And our heaven. Now there was no sea and I saw the holy city coming down out of heaven from God. I heard a loud voice from the throne. The voice said, Now God's home is with men. That means Jesus has come down and he has fetched us to go to the new heaven. Oh, he will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them and will be their God. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, so boys and girls, this is what it is. looks like. You guys can print it. Ask mom and dad if you want you to print it on, on colored paper like we did. We printed it on these, this beige paper so that it could match nicely our little um, thing. And so then what you do is you cut out your three prophecies nicely around the corners and make sure that you have your prophecies like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, are you guys now ready? Are you yes. with us? Yes. Okay. You're going to take your first prophecy of Isaiah, put some glue at the back, and you guys are going to stick it on at the top so that your scroll looks like there we go look there there's my scroll it's my first prophecy so i can be a prophet now guys and look i can unscroll it and read it isn't it cool yeah that's cool. so this is isaiah who said this one then you're going to take micah five and you're going to take his prophecy and you can stick it onto your scroll somewhere in the middle-ish so there's mine, if I can show Kylie, there's mine, there's Micah, so I've got Isaiah and Micah, yours also there. Well done, Lulz. Good job, Vicky. And then the last one is the, um, the one from John where he, had, he saw the new heaven and the new earth. And that is the one, boys and girls, we are waiting for. And we are preparing our hearts for him. So that's my scroll done. Is yours done? Yes. yes. Okay. So, now, strangely enough, in the olden days, the scrolls were rolled up from two sides, like this and two, like this. But it's a bit difficult to keep them closed because we don't have big enough sticks here. Yeah. So we decided we're not going to do it properly like it should be. We are just going to turn it up from one side, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you guys are going to put a nice ribbon around it. Okay. Look at Vicky, she's going to put her ribbon around it. And Vicky's actually very good at this because she's got magic that she does at the end. Because <laughs> this is going to go hang on our Christmas tree. This is our first Christmas decoration that we are making. And it is such an important one because voila, 
It's got the prophecies on it. And especially the one that says it's going to be living in a new So kitchen. now, oh. I'm going to make uh, a hook. Uh, a loop. So, so that we can put on the kitchen. Look what she's doing, everyone. So you just have to fold like in half like that. Uh-huh. And then turn around. Yeah. And oh, wow. voila, inside. Wow, Vix, that's brilliant. That is amazing. Then you got a hole here. You can... And then show us how you, because mine's already hanging on there. Oh. I cheated. <laughs> cheated. Look, there's mine. Mine's hanging there. Vix's one is going up. Look at my one. I cheated too. Did you? Yeah. 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 Lolo cheated too. So do you want to go hang your little scroll up on the tree? Very nice. Now, we only have one more thing to do before we can go. Do you guys know what that is? What is today? It's the first, first week of, of Advent. Yeah. And what is that first candle called? The, Pro Pro the prophet. Prophecy candle. Oh, 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 oh. Where's our prophet? Yeah. Our prophecy candle. Remember the prophet read the prophecies? Yes. And so, when we actually light the candle today, this green, oh, this purple one, yes. what we are remembering today is that God sends his messengers to give us hope. He gave us hope. He gave the, 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 the Jewish people and the Israelites hope to say, your Savior is coming. And we know the Savior came. Yes. Right? That's why we're going to have Christmas in a few weeks' time. Uh -huh. But for us, He's also given us hope through the words and what John saw in Revelation. Mm -hmm. So this is our prophecy candle that brings hope. Oh. Very good. So let's put it there. Thank you. Okay, so our first candle is lit. We have hope. We have got so much excitement for what is lying ahead and we will see you guys back here next week right yes with some more craft and lighting our second candle hey yeah. okay so i think all we need to now do is to say goodbye to the boys and girls oh, oh before we go boys and girls please remember we would love for you and your family to buy some buckets um, with food in it. You can get it in any of the supermarkets and you can support a family by bringing a bucket of food yeah. to Grace Boy. Yeah. You can drop, if you're not coming here face to face during the week, you can come just quickly and run in, drop it off and go. But we would love for you to support our drive of food buckets this year. Also, if you would like to donate a present to a child, you can wrap a nice present. Please make sure that it's not broken or badly used. Maybe a nice doll or a car, whatever you guys can afford. Wrap it up and then just put on it, boy, six-year-old. We would love for you to get involved in those two projects, right? Yes. yes, yes. Good. Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. Are you ready? Okay. How to doodle, just doodle it, doodle kids.